Okay, so um, we, we defined what was experiment, what was sample space, and what was event. Now, we have to discuss what is the probability. For an event, for example, um, let me see. The event, um, sum was 11. It was an event from the sample space which had 36 possible outcomes. How many outcomes in this event? Do you remember that? To make 11, 5 and 6, 6 and 5. Two outcomes out of 36. It's actually, it is the probability. For the event, sum is 11. We just count. <clears throat> we just count is how many outcomes in the event out of how many was in the sample space. The ratio, that is the probability. And the second event was the double. How many outcomes in the double in the event? One and one, two and two, three, four, five, and six. Six. Six outcomes out of the same sample space of 36. So the probability for the event double, we had the six outcomes out of 36. It's very simple. So that is the probability. Okay, now look at this one. Now we have some properties for the probabilities. The very first one, any kind of probability for any event, it must be between 0 and 1. Must be 0 and 1. Never ever negative. It is not as bigger than 1. Be careful. Remember, it is the most important, the property for the probability. The case of zero, you know, sometimes, sometimes we can make a probability zero. Now we can say it is an impossible event. How about this? Sum is equal to one. You know, when we are rolling to dice in the previous example, can I make sum one? No. What was the smallest sum? The smallest sum will be only two. When? One and one. From the outcome, one and one, we make the smallest sum two, not one. To make the sum one, impossible. But it is an event. It is an event. When I take the probability, it will be zero. Because, you know, by the definition of the probability, there is a no outcome in the event out of 36 again. Zero out of 36 will be zero. Nothing. No probability. Impossible. How about the next one? The next one is, yeah, we can say it's a certain event. Like this. To make the sum 12 or less, that means make the sum 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 12. You know, we knew the smallest sum is a 2. Then what is the biggest sum? 12. So how do, how do you expect? How many outcomes in the event? 12 or less in the event the sum will be 12 
or less. 36. We can expect the all 36 outcomes in the event out of how many events in the sample space? 36. How much will be the ratio 36 over 36? It will be 1. So always, any kind of probability, it must be 0 and 1. You know, here's another reason. Event was the sample space. You know, when we take the ratio, when we take the ratio is a number, I'm sorry. Numerator and denominator, numerator and denominator to take the probability. Which one must be smaller? Which one must be bigger? You know, I told you event was from the sample space. Always the upper one, numerator, must be smaller than the denominator. So, less than one. Any probability must be less than one. It's up to one. Why it is the positive? You know, actually, we can take the probability from the counts. How many outcomes in the event? How many words in the sample space? It's a count. Count how many outcomes? Cannot be negative. Always zero, one, two, three, four. Positive. The two positives counts. Something over something. Positive or positive. It should be positive. So the probability always is bigger than zero. Okay? So please remember. Please remember the properties. Number one, any probability for any event must be between zero and one. It is the most important. Yep, here's a, here's a definitions again. Is what is a sample space and what is the event, but already we discussed. 